It's a rough time out there, guys. Um, and Joe Biden is not offering solutions. He's not even being realistic about the problems that the U.S. is facing. Sadly, who we're stuck with for solving our problems is the Federal Royal Reserve. Yeah, unfortunately. So the Federal Reserve is trying to fight inflation the only way it knows how um, by hiking interest rates. So Jerome Powell, the chair of the Federal Reserve um, and the Federal Reserve Committee today, rose uh, hiked interest rates another uh, 0.75% uh, this afternoon, which that may not sound like much. You know, you're thinking, ah, oh, three quarters of a percent. But when you're talking about uh, interest rates and the Federal Reserve doing that, that's actually gigantic. This is the first, this is the biggest hike since 1994, um, which should be signaling to all Americans that we are in danger. Um, our economy is not doing well if the Federal Reserve is getting to such a desperate point that it is having to hike, inf uh, hike rates to fight inflation. That is so bad. Um, so Powell said today, um, he said, clearly today's 75 basis point increase is an unusually large one, and I do not expect moves of this size to be common. However, this is the third hike in just the past six months, and things are not looking up. Um, and the Fed keeps saying, you know, we're, we're fighting inflation. We're waiting for things to drop down. You know, we got an 8.6% inflation rate right now when we should be around 2% inflation. That's not promising. That's really not promising. And it's going to be affecting not just the stock market. You know, the stock market can feel kind of far off for a lot of, you know, your average Americans. Mm -hmm. But this affects everything. This affects your credit cards, your debt, your car payments. Um, this is this is a trickle-down effect that's going to be hurting you pretty directly. Um, Yet, ugh, in a terrible way, it does sort of have to be done. So if you do have wealth tied down in any form in the stock market, <laughs> whether a 401k, exchange-traded funds, you can expect another economic punch to the face tomorrow. If the rate hikes from the previous few weeks or months are any indicator, uh, this one could quite possibly be the most severe one yet. It's the highest um, percentage increase. Um, so what are the chances that this is a prequel to a coming recession? At what point do we know that we are actually in a recession and that we can't just say it feels like one, that we mm. know this is a recession? Mm. There's a lot of debate over what actually signifies a recession because recessions of such a of, of huge magnitude are not so common that everyone's just like, oh, you know, these three indicators, here we go. 